like many of you, um, since I acquired a Amazon Echo about a year ago, I've started to collect a vast array of different devices that I can control using it. Unfortunately, none of those are controllable using um, Apple's HomeKit. I have an Apple Watch and I have an iPhone. And um, I, none of my devices are compatible with HomeKit. So I, if I say, hey Siri, turn off my room. Hmm, I don't see anything connected. Um, however, there is a framework called uh, HomeBridge, which runs on a Raspberry Pi, among other things, and it lets you create plugins. So I've created a plugin that lets me control my Amazon Echo devices um, via HomeKit. So let's go back to Home here. And say Add Accessory. Okay, I don't have blah, blah, blah. Okay, it's called the Alexa. It's uncertified indeed, it is totally uncertified. Okay, it needs a code. This is the default code. So this is my Raspberry Pi, and I'm running Homebridge with my plugin that lets me control Alexa. So the code 03145154. Nothing secret about that. It's the default code 3145154. Well, I should probably change it. And what it does is it goes through, um, talks to my plugin or talks to Homebridge, which talks to my plugin, and then um, lets me add all the different devices. So here it is. Next. Okay, I have a room called, or a device called Everything, which lets me switch off everything in the house. Lounge, my room, which is the room I'm in right now, and Scooter, which is another room. Um, so they're all there now, and so I can say, Hey Siri, turn off my room. Okay, then my room is off. That's right. And indeed, it's gone dark. Now, you may have heard something in the background, and this is a really clunky solution. I have an idea for a better solution, but it works. So, um, hey Siri, turn on my room. Okay, then my room is on. Now, the clunkiness, so there's the Raspberry Pi, there's a cable going over to here, to a speaker, and my Amazon Echo is sitting there. So every time I speak to Siri, my plugin for the home for uh, Homebridge speaks to my Amazon Echo, and it uh, and it executes the command. There is a much more elegant solution that I'm working on because it's possible to run the Amazon Voice services on a Raspberry Pi. So in theory, all I need is a Raspberry Pi, and I'll have my plugin send commands directly to Amazon Voice services. That's what I'll be working on next. Um, but um, but this works for now, you know, and it's nice to be able to use my watch. Let's see. Hey Siri, turn on my room. Okay. Alexa, turn on my room. Alexa, turn on my room. And it worked. So my room is on. Um, so the plugin I created, you'll find under, it's called um, Homebridge Alexa. And it's under Damien Mears, that's my name. And uh, you can follow me on Twitter where I'll write updates. If there are any about this, um, so there's complete instructions on the on the Homebridge Alexa. It's really a very trivial little uh, plugin, but uh, I hope it'll go further. Thanks.